Yeah, we have a long list of Thanksgiving guidance when it comes to COVID-19, including a travel advisory. But do you think that's eclipsed when we had state lawmakers going to Hawaii for a conference? Shouldn't they have more of a moral responsibility to follow the guidelines that, that you're setting for? Certainly, we want all Californians to follow the travel advisory. We think it's a key strategy to reduce transmission. So again, it goes for everyone at all levels across California, north and south, uh, regardless of uh, uh, where you are in the state and what you do in the state. We expect that that is how you uh, sort of follow and take heed to this important uh, advisory. You recommend a 14-day quarantine if people leave the state. Did you have any direct communication with those state lawmakers who went to Hawaii and are they in fact quarantining and do you recommend that? You know, I have not and, and uh, uh, you know, as I've said, I think it is a recommendation for all Californians who come back into the state. So my hope is that everyone, including those lawmakers, but way beyond those lawmakers, make it a serious consideration to follow that direction and really help serve and protect their communities. What message do you think that sends, given that that happened right before the Thanksgiving holiday? You know, again, I sort of come back and focus on uh, uh, really that we all have a chance to set an example and show our communities and our families really that uh, if we do make a choice to travel, that following that travel advisory, quarantining is an important way to support our communities and, and uh, really make a decision that we hope all Californians will make. Well, one of the local lawmakers we heard travel to Hawaii is Assemblymember Jim Cooper. The Democrat represents portions of Sacramento and San Joaquin counties. We did reach out to him several times since the trip and again today, but we have yet to receive a reply from him.